Okay, so welcome back. If you've been following along with this tutorial series, uh, you'll have a computer vision window like I do. You'll have a health bar window like I do. Uh, if you haven't been following along, I suggest you go back to the beginning and step through this whole process so that you can catch up to where I'm at. Today what we're going to be focusing on is the health uh, of our player. So in the last uh, short tutorial, we showed how we could actually extract the health bar visually from the screen. So you can see that when I put my mouse over, those pixels are changing. And this is kind of a, a look through the computer's eyes, if you will. So I'm going to slide this over just because it'll make you dizzy on one screen with that mirror effect. Uh, and you can see that I'm at 100% health. So today what we want to do is we want the computer to capture our health, not just visually, but also estimate it just like we would by looking at it. And that's exactly what we're doing. So if I attack a couple of enemies here, you'll see that as I take damage, the computer is calculating my health, but it's not doing it you know, using any other way than we would. It's just looking at that green bar visually, just like a person, and estimating the health based on the visual representation of that green bar. So right now it says, okay, the health bar is roughly at about 60% full, and it's, it's estimating it to be about 60% or 50%. And you can see as I continue to take damage, that'll continue to go down. If I were to heal, that would go back up. So today we're going to be learning how we can implement this uh, health calculation and we can add it to our computer vision console. So I'm about to die here and it should go to zero. There you go. Health 1.0. So there's a little bit of a tolerance in there, but it's, but you get the idea. So let's go to the tutorial. Okay, everyone. So. Before we get started with today's actual coding, I wanted to open up a uh, GIMP. You could use any uh, program that's used for looking at images. And I wanted to talk about why we're going to use HSV color space for this tutorial. Uh, if you've seen my other tutorials, you probably have already uh, you know, learned this, so you could probably skip ahead a little bit. But for those of you who are wondering why we're going to use HSV color space, let me, let me demonstrate. So our goal today is to capture and estimate the amount of health that we had. We want the computer to do it visually, just like we would. And there's actually a couple of ways that we could implement the solution. One way is we could put a couple of targets like here, 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 here. And we could say, we could treat those as like laser focused points for the computer to look at. And we could just look at that one pixel, maybe one over here, one over here, one over here. And that would give us kind of a rough estimate. So they could say, okay, if this pixel is green, that must mean the health bar is at about almost 100%. If the middle pixel is green, that must mean we're at uh, you know, about 50% health or more. That's one way to do it. And that would, that would save a lot of computation time because you're just looking at one pixel. Uh, the way we're gonna do it today, just to kind of keep things fun, we're gonna, we're gonna use the entire health bar uh, like a person would. And we're gonna basically say, out of all of those pixels, what percent of them are green and what percent of them are not green. And that's, that ratio is gonna give us our estimated health. We could probably accomplish the same thing if we just took a single pixel slice. Like imagine if we just sliced one, one row of pixels out, we could probably do the same thing. That would probably be a pretty good optimization to make because it would be less pixels to, to search through. So those are things that you can keep in mind if you want to do this and optimize this. But we're just gonna we're just gonna take the whole image for today and and calculate it since it's still you know not that computationally expensive. Uh, so anyways, we're gonna use HSV color space. So let me demonstrate why. So if I just open up GIMP here, and uh, if I if I pick a color here in the middle, you can see the RGB value is forty one seventy nine eleven. Okay. Now let's say I take a blue over here. My RGB is 0, 26, 60. Okay. Now, if I take a yellow, it's 60, 50, 19. So it's pretty hard to, to, to figure out what should the range of our R, G, and B be. It's pretty tricky to figure that out because it's not really directly related to the color. You know, yellow is going to be a mixture of R, G, and B. So it's, it's difficult to do. So a better way is to use HSV color space. So if I click on HSV and I go back to green, you can see that my hue, the hue is basically related to the color. The saturation is the depth of that color and then there's the value. So 
usually when we're when we're trying to differentiate colors visually for the computer it's it's easiest to, to use the hue so in this case my hue is 95 so you'll see a pattern here hue is 95 now let me go to this dark edge on the left hand side here you can see that my hue is 96 so almost the same if I go all the way to the right where this bright green stuff is you'll see my hue is 89 so still pretty close if I choose this very dark pixel on the right on the corner here my hue is 104 so it looks like if I choose a value roughly between 85 and 110 that's going to be all that green stuff that we want if I go to the blues you'll see for example that the hue is now 213 so it's not even close and if I go to the yellow the hue is 46 so you can see that when we're trying to differentiate color we should use the HSV color space it's a lot easier to work with it could be done with RGB it's just easier with HSV so that's why we're going to use HSV color space now let's get on to the coding okay so here we are back in our tutorial uh, that we had last time so we're going to start updating this to include a function that will let us look at the health uh, live so to do that, uh, as I just mentioned in a previous section, we're going to use the HSV color space. So we're actually going to store another image here. We're going to call this self.image underscore health, and then let's add underscore HSV. So this is going to be our HSV version of the same image that's going to be used for helping us differentiate colors. Okay, and after we create that, we have to actually create a function uh, for converting between HSV color space. Uh, so not every program uses the same HSV color space. Uh, so, so what I mean is in GIMP, in the case of GIMP that I was just using, the available colors are everything between 0 and 360. But in OpenCV, the available hues are 0 to 179. So if we're going to use it, and you might want to check what your program is if you used a different program like Microsoft Paint or something. So in my case, I'm going to create a function called convert hue. And basically all this is going to do is convert it so that it's going to scale it just so that if I'm using GIMP to estimate my numbers, I can put them in and it'll scale them so that OpenCV will use them correctly. And the ratio that I want to use in my case is 361 because I have 0 to 360 so that means I have 361 color choices and I want to divide that by 180 because OpenCV has everything between 0 and 179 and then what I want to do is I want to return and we'll just round it off np dot round hue divided by that ratio so what this is going to do is this is going to take in my hue so if my my hue in um, GIMP was 360 it should divide it by 2 so that I can get the the hue close to what OpenCV is expecting so you again you might need to change the ratio if your program is the same as OpenCV you don't even need this function <clears throat> and another thing that we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to create a function that's gonna determine if a pixel matches so what we're gonna do like I said is we're gonna loop through all the pixels in that health bar and we're going to see how many of them are green and how many of them are not green. So let's create a function here. We'll call this hue match percent and we'll put in an image. We'll put in a hue low and we'll put in a hue high. This will let us basically give a range of hues and it'll say okay for this image here's my range of hues the low and the high value tell me what percentage of the pixels in that image fall within this low and high value. If they fall in there, give me that percentage. So we'll say the match match pixels is equal to zero. And we'll say the no match pixels is equal to zero. So we're just going to initialize this. And then what we'll say is for pixel in image. So we'll go through all the pixels. And then we can say for HSV, since we're using HSV color space in pixel, every pixel is going to be a, uh, an array of three items, the HSV value. So we want to pull those out. And then what we can say is if, and this is where we want to convert our hue because we got it, in my case, I have to convert it because the hue value OpenCV expects is not the hue value that's going to be in that, uh, that, that I put in there. If convert hue, hue low, 
and we can say less than or equal to h, which is our hue. And we can say that should be less than or equal to our convert hue, hue high. So if, if it falls in that range, we'll say match pixels plus equals one, else we'll have our no match pixels plus equals one. Okay, and then after we go through this, we can figure out our total pixels should be equal to our match plus our no match. And we can return, we can round this off to our matched pixels divided by our total pixels. And we can round that maybe off two places. So again, what this is gonna do is this is gonna take an image in a range of hues. It's gonna go through every pixel. It's gonna look at the H SV value of that pixel. So we're gonna pull out the H value. We're gonna check, is the H value in between what we said low and high hue should be? We're using this convert function just because I wanna enter numbers in from the program that I'm using. In my case, it's GIMP. So if I wanna put in a value of 100, I'm gonna put in a value of 100. OpenCV though is gonna expect that to be a value between zero and 180, so that's gotta be scaled down. And so that's what that convert hue is doing. It's just scaling it. What I could do is I could just do the math on paper and I could type in the numbers OpenCV wants. This just saves me the step of figuring it out if I want to go back to GIMP and play around with other colors. I don't have to figure out the, the ratio. We're, if there's a match there, we're going to add it to that pixel bucket for matches. If there's no match, we'll add it to that bucket. And then we'll just return the ratio of matched pixels divided by the total pixels. So. If all of them match, this will return a value of one. If none of them match, this will return a value of zero and somewhere in between if it's somewhere in between. So that's how we calculate our match percentage. Okay, so the next thing we wanna do is we wanna obviously display this on our screen. So we're gonna go back to our capture screen function and this is where we previously put text on our images. And we're actually going to do the same thing here. So let's just copy this function. Yeah, this function here. We'll put another CV put text. In this in this case, we're still going to we're still going to put it on that same image. We're still going to put it on the small image. But in this in this case, we're not going to put in this FPS text. We're going to put in. We can put in here health plus string, and then this is where we can call our function. What do we call that? Hue match percentage. Okay, so my string now is just going to be, it's going to say health with a space here. And then I, I'm going to take this hue match percentage and convert it to a string. And let's do, let's do one more thing. Let's return this as times 100. So that way it's, it's a percentage, not a decimal. Okay, and then we want to, we don't want this to be in the same location. We want to shift this down. So let's shift this down 50 more pixels. So I'm going to set that coordinate to, to the 25, 100. And then for the color, I, let's change the color to red so we can make, remember this is BGR, so 00255. This will give me a uh, red color. And let's uh, run this and see if this is working properly. Okay, so it looks like I'm returning the function itself and not the result of the function. Let me see what we did there. Oh, yeah, I just put the function in there. I didn't, we didn't, we didn't actually uh, execute the function. We didn't put any data in there. So we have to put in our image. So we have to put in our self dot image HSV. So remember to put in your HSV image and we need to, to, to put in our hue values. So in my case, um, I experimented and I found a value of 80 and 115 is going to work pretty good. So this will return the result of our HSV image. And it'll find all the pixels that the percentage of pixels that fall between 80 and 115. So let's try this now. And let's run it. Oh, none type. Oh, we didn't actually create our HSV image. We just initialized it to none. So I forgot we have to actually make this. So let's go back to where we, okay, so here's where we made our image. So we're gonna, we're gonna create a copy of this. So self.image underscore HSV, oops, health underscore HSV. 
So we want to create a copy of this image, but in the HSV color space. And the way we can do that is, is we can call this function cv.convertColor. And we're going to put in our matrix. So in this case, it's going to be self.imageHealth. That's that image that we're putting in. And then we want to convert to HSV color space. So we'll call it cv.color underscore bgr to HSV. Because remember, that's a BGR image, and we want to convert it to HSV. So now we have a copy of this image health as a HSV image. Okay? So let's run this now. Looks like I got a typo. It says somewhere I've got a round instead of a round. Let's try to find that. Okay. Fix that typo. Okay. Let's try it again. All right. So you can see that it's displaying our health at zero. It should be because this is probably black. There's probably no matches here. And uh, let's see if I can get it to trigger with anything. All right. There we go. So if I slide over this. Uh, uh, I'm just going to use this as an example, but you can see if I put this green color in there, you can see I'm, I'm getting my health updated properly. So that's exactly how that should work. And if we were to open up the game and run it, uh, that would uh, produce a nice result, which you could see from the intro section. So that's how we implement a health calculation into our uh, program. So we have this part of the screen being red. It's looking for a certain number of green pixels, and when it gets them in the right color range, it's going to register them so you can see that that's updating all right well i hope you enjoyed today's video if you did please consider liking and subscribing i would really appreciate it and i hope to see you again in the next video thanks and have a great day